I'll get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Hello, BYWG Tribe. Here's a quick peek at our supplement, product, course, and book of the month for June 2020. At the end of the podcast, I will spend a few minutes going into further detail, so we encourage you to listen to the end. The supplement of the month for June is Turmeric Boost. This is our very own BCM95 highly absorbable form of turmeric. The 10% discount code in office or online is DFLAME10, case sensitive. Our book of the month is Sacred Cow, Why Well-Raised Meat is Good for You and Good for the Planet by Diana Rogers and Rob Wolf. The product, well, it's actually a course of the month is Lifebook. Lifebook is a one-of-a-kind lifestyle design system that guides you towards your personal vision of success in a 12 dimensions of your life. All the links, discount codes, and special offers for the product, supplement, and book will be listed in the show notes and iTunes, posted on social media, in our weekly newsletter, and at our website at www.beyondyourwildestgenes.com at the Listen Now tab. Thanks for listening. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Beyond Your Wildest Genes podcast. I'm your co-host today, Dr. Mike Akinfora. I am thrilled to have with me on the line John and Missy Butcher. Guys, how are we doing? Doing great, Hi. Mike. Thanks Thank for you for us. inviting us. Yeah, I am. Super- I'm thrilled to have you both on the line. We're not used to doing <laughs> video interviews. We're, most of them are just audio. So this is a, a, a special treat for me. Um, as as our audience knows, I am the uh, uh, great fumbler of bios, but this is a really short bio. So hopefully this goes off without a hitch. Let me just read John and Missy's bio, and then we can get into um, Lifebook, which is an extraordinary program, which I I think you guys will really love. Um, So John and Missy, we are artists, entrepreneurs whose life together revolves around our epic love affair, family and work. Together, we have founded over a dozen companies, all organized around causes that matter. In addition to offering quality products that make people's lives better, our companies support orphan, orphan, there you go, orphanages (laughs) worldwide, uplifts inner city youth, and assist people who have developed addiction problems and heavily support the arts. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Hi, everybody. We're so happy to be here. We are thrilled to have you guys. So let me ask you a question. John, uh, we, I've, I've known you for 13 years. You've been on the show um, twice before, once talking about Lifebook, which I've got to say has the most, uh, has about 60% of our traffic for our YouTube channel. It is amazing. Oh, wow. Um, that interview that you did with Jordan years ago, mm-hmm. and um, it really, it, it really has taken off from there. Um, could you explain to the three or four people who might not have heard your story <laughs> um, why, why, what is Lifebook, and why did you decide to not keep it to yourself? Yeah, that's a good question, Mike. Um, so, what Lifebook is? Lifebook is a personal development program that um, allows you to look deeply at 12 different areas of your life and get a crystal clear image of the person that you want to become and the life that you want to live. And the thinking that you do during during the course <clears throat> is documented in this beautiful, iconic book that we call your life book. So the deliverable from the six-week online course is you've written this 120-page book that's gone deep into all the most important areas of your life where you've clearly defined what you believe, what you want, why you want it, and what you need to do to get it. And that all adds up to a crystal clear life vision. And once you've done that thinking, which is transformative <laughs> all on its own, you, you, you just can't bring that much consciousness to your life and not transform. It's impossible, right? Once you've done that thinking, and you know exactly the kind of person that you want to turn yourself into and the kind of life you want to live, then we help you start moving toward that visual intention every single day. That's just sort of a 50,000 foot view of the program. It's a, it's a video program. It consists of, we, we have 12 categories, so there's 12 videos. One category, the interactive videos, each uh, 
module takes about mm, it takes between an hour to an hour and a half, and they're interactive, meaning you are answering questions inside of the program, and the answers to your questions end up being the content of your life book. We do not tell you what to believe. We do not we we do not present you know what you should want or why you should want it. We we pull it out of you. So it's a Socratic method. Yes. Basically, we ask you a series of questions, a lot of self-discovery to begin with. And what's beautiful about it, Michael, is you start you start here. You start here today when you start the program. It's not really looking back. It's mm -hmm. like where am I today? Yeah. What do I want today? And then from there you go forward. But it's it's very Socratic, and we just pull it out of you. So it's completely your content. Yeah. It's it's fascinating. You every, discover you are. Every life book is different because every person is different, and mm -hmm. and your life book will be your unique vision for your for your future. Mm -hmm. So how LifeBook began is um, 30 years ago, I went through the most difficult time in my life. I, I basically developed, um, through a lot of hard work, <laughs> a, a pretty difficult anxiety disorder that really knocked my life sideways. I mean, I was literally dysfunctional. For two months, I had full-blown agoraphobia. I couldn't even leave the house. Like, I was... I was as, as low as you could get. I mean, you can't mm -hmm. get lower than not being able to function. Couldn't right. work, couldn't do anything, right? It was horrible. And that's when I started really asking myself, you know, it's, it's when I really started studying personal development for the first time and asking myself, how am I gonna, how am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna, how am I gonna become normal again? How am I going to make it through? And when I do make it through, what is it I want? Yeah. Like I started asking some serious questions. What do I want my life? How do I want my life to go? I've got to. I've got to fix myself. I'm broken now. What kind of a person do I want to turn to? Right. So that mm -hmm. that's going to determine what I what. So I started doing a lot of study, Mike. I started doing a lot of personal development programs, and the earliest versions of my life book were truthfully nothing more than the notes that I was taking from those programs. I kept them in a binder. And I was having such a hard time with anxiety that I would have to carry that binder with me everywhere I went in case I was having a bad moment. I could open it up and get a little bit of encouragement and inspiration from what I'd written, you know, from some of these programs. Well, over time, that little that little binder full of notes from personal development programs became more and more refined. One year, I, I asked myself, what are the most important areas of my life that really need to be addressed if I want to live an extraordinary life? Non-negotiable. Like Non-negotiable. Non yep. And that's when we came up with the 12 categories. And and then I asked myself one year, actually Pat Gentempo, one of your good friends, um, yep. and, and we, it was my best friend at, at the time, and Pat said, John, you know, one thing you should add to your life book, before you go trying to charge down the path of defining what you want in any area of life, it's good to know what your fundamental beliefs are about that category. Mm -hmm. If you decide that you want to be a millionaire, but you've got mm -hmm. a fundamental belief that was installed in childhood that the love of money is the root of all evil, you're not going to mm -hmm. achieve that vision. Your belief is going to mess you up. They're going to sabotage it. Yep. So that year, we added a category called premise to our life, uh, life book process, where the very first thing we do when we look at health and fitness or love relationship financial, these individual categories, is we ask ourselves, what are the foundational beliefs that control our behavior in this area of our life? Here are the four questions that we ask across each category. What do I believe? Mm -hmm. What precisely, with no fuzziness, do I want in this area of my life? Why do I want it? What's the purpose behind that desire? And finally, what do I need to do to get it? So Mike, we used, so, so, so I developed LifeBook for myself so that I could get out of this hard situation. And then... Then it started taking kind of on a, a bit yeah. of its own because we were looking around saying, this is the culture we live in, you know, and, and people aren't mm -hmm. happy. I mean, I remember looking right. at people saying, right. people have kids, they, they get married, they do their job, but where's the happiness? Right. And here where's we the were, fulfillment? Yeah, we were starting because of his, you know, his anxiety situation, we were starting from ground zero. So it was a, right. actually a blessing that we got to build from the ground up. And it was, it was when, from that contrast, we look out around us in our culture and say, you know what, nothing's really working right. Let's see if we can figure out how to make it work for us. And that's exactly sure. yeah. So for 15 years, we never showed our life book to anyone. We used this as a tool to navigate towards an extraordinary life. Yeah. 
it got us in extraordinary physical shape. It took our relationship into the stratosphere. It like bringing this much consciousness to every area of your life creates friggin' magic. Absolutely. We never showed it to anyone for, for 15 years. We shouldn't think of it. And then, actually, Pat Gintempo, again, <laughs> was another uh, instrumental person. We had a few of our friends, David Jackson, uh, yep. Sam, come up to us and say, John and Miss, you know, we see you're carrying this book around, and you say that this is the reason that you guys are, are just doing so well. Is there yep. any way that you could help us make a book like this? And we're like, I don't know. Sure. About it. <laughs> <laughs> so we literally had, we had, had party. Pat we, and Laurie, we David, party. We, we brought out the, the marker board and we opened up our, our life book and we we led some of our dearest friends. Matt to, Hubbard was there. Matt also. Hubbard, through, yeah. through the very first Special initial piece. version mm -hmm. of that program, it produced extraordinary results. And then we had a then then we had a decision to make because Missy and I, Mike, are super private people, and we knew that if we put this out into the world as a company, yep. the world that we're going to have to open up our lives in public, and we did not like that idea. So we went to Puerto Rico for a week to make this decision. We literally booked a beautiful suite on the beach and said we're going to go for a week and we're going to talk this down. And at the end of this week, we're going to decide whether or not to share life with the world. And what was the determining, fa determining factor was mm -hmm. this amazing gift that we'd been given. We can't go to our graves yeah. without sharing it. How would we feel if we were given this and it did this for our lives, but we never shared it with others? Yeah. So, so we had was, to go. It was a no-brainer. <laughs> we knew immediately. So there's a, the long story short. It was possible. <laughs> a absolutely. It, it, always, um, it always amazes me when talking to folks in, in health and wellness space, we all had to overcome our own obstacles yeah. and then once we uh, once we are over that obstacle or through the obstacle or around the obstacle we, we're called to and I, I say it's a basic human um need is to belong to something bigger than oneself and this is true you could have kept your your life book to yourself just you and Missy living your life and with your kids and it would have been fine. But there, there's obviously a bigger calling there. Exactly. Um, and, and, and you got nudged as only Patrick can nudge. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and here we are speaking um, years later. Uh, I, went, I went through the program in, in 2007. I want to say it was November of 2007. I... Still have my life book. I still look at it and make changes to what some of my goals and my vision and my purpose. Sometimes those things change, especially yeah. over a thirteen-year period. No doubt. Um, and and what has changed the most is probably some of the strategies that yeah. I use to get there. So let's let's dive in to. Um, to I, I don't want to give away the whole um, apple cart, so to speak, uh, but I, I would really like for you guys um, talk about one of the um, categories. Specifically, I would love for you guys to talk about your relationship and how that works within the context of Lifebook. Oh, that, We'd nice. love to talk about that. It's one of our favorite <laughs> subjects. <Yeah. laughs> um, interesting thing about, the interesting thing about Lifebook is it has these 12 aspects. So yes. it's your life. Your life is one thing, right? But yeah. we dive yeah. deep into each, like, you know, we dive deep into each one of these categories and really go deep there and decide, you know, and, and it's it's so much uh, discovery. The first part of it, the first part of it Absolutely. is love discovery, right? So yep. for John and I, we got together early in our life. And mm -hmm. um, again, we looked out around and we only had really one, two really good relationship examples that we'd ever mm -hmm. seen. My parents, my brother, my older sibling, basically. And, sure. um, and so we were like, you know, there, this, this, there's something, there's something messed up. We should be, you know, everyone should be in love. It should be way better, right? So we really started thinking deeply about that and we just decided, you know what, we're going to have and we didn't know what we were doing. We were in our 20s, early 20s. But we were like, right. we're going to have an epic relationship. And this was before Lifebook was born. Okay? This was kind of just us getting together. Lifebook happened about five years in, right? right. That's when it was born. Mm -hmm. And so we, we just had that kind of propensity out of the gate to, like, let's do something really great. So we, right, right away, without even really realizing it, we had kind of a vision. 
We're like, this place is where we're going to come. It's our sanctuary. The world's crazy out there. We're busy, busy. We've got lots of right. fun. So we started out as this is our sanctuary. And that we started sure. with vision. And then... One, one of the things Lifebook does, and you got you went through it 13 yeah. years ago, and that's amazing. Like year right? two. One, 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 <laughs> yes. one, one thing that it does is it creates self-fulfilling prophecies. Mm -hmm. 25 yes. years ago, I wrote in my Lifebook, I will be a strong, muscular athlete for the rest of my life. And that just, okay. when you get when you have that self-image, you have that vision, mm -hmm. you're going to act in accordance with that vision. We that's said we said early on we're going to have an epic love affair that lasts a lifetime. That's what we're going to do. Yep. And, and yep. Our, our relationship has been become a self fulfilling prophecy. That's one of the things that Lifebook does when you get clear enough on what you want and why you want it, and it becomes your identity. You will behave consistent with that identity, and eventually you're going to wake up and you're going to be living that. Yep. Life. That's it. Oh, absolutely. And it, 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 what people miss is, and, and, and the secret had a little bit of it, but when you, when, you, when you said what you said, John, about I'm going to be healthy, I'm going to be fit, that's the capstone on the pyramid. And you got to do all the work underneath. You have to do the work, but the universe is going to conspire for you yes. in helping you yes. achieve that. You've put it out there and, and I forget who it was that said the the it's not the goal that counts it's who you become mm. in in achieving that goal yes. and that's exactly what you're talking about exactly that is, that is the mm -hmm. dynamic mm -hmm. you don't even really have to believe it Mike <clears throat> all you have to do is commit to it like commit to belief it. will come you will prove to yes. yourself through commitment that, but, but what you have to do is you have to want it. You have to, you have to you, exactly. and, and so few people know what they really want out of life. And the, the reason it's so important, especially in the 21st century, to, to have a life vision, mm -hmm. to know what you want, is because if you don't have a life vision, there are going to be countless corporations and people and institutions mm -hmm. that are going to step up and fill your vision gap and take you where yep. they want to take you. I mean, look at yep. right now. It's hard to even know what's true. You can't find truth anywhere. You have to you have <laughs> to discover it inside your own self. You better you know who you want to become yeah. and where you want to go, or yeah. people are going to be taking you on a ride. And one of the beautiful things about Lifebook is through this discovery process, you actually come up, you discover your own personal philosophy. You realize what yes. your values are, what, what your beliefs are, what you really want to see yes. in the world. And it's that that's not easy to do alone. And this process really helps you yeah. draw it out. Absolutely. So when you're talking, what you said, so your press for your your love relationship is to create an epic love affair. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> what now the vision, what, what does that look like? Okay, he's going to grab, oh, grab our life book because that was your question. <laughs> <laughs> Take us through the whole category and we will happily do that. Um, awesome. And this is great awesome. because we can chatter all day, but he'll say exactly what our premise ladies is. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you life book. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is a beat up janky. For, this is a workbook. This is not no coffee table book, right? I'm, I'm <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> But exactly. uh, open it up to love relationship. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this beautiful woman on the <laughs> cover of my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Premise. Um. Yes. So here, here are. Well, I'll just go ahead and I got a little. Yeah. Statement. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a little self-indulgent because this is my personal life book. So please forgive me. I would not share this with the public. It's an example <laughs> of what you. Yeah. What I you normally do. wouldn't share this with the public, but. Um. Missy and I have the most intense, passionate, romantic relationship I've ever encountered. We live our lives together on a whole different level than, than most other couples we know. Um, the premises that, that support our love relationship vision are, our love relationship is the foundation of our lives. Everything we have in our lives is built on this relationship. It's the foundation of our home. It's the foundation of our family. Our careers, we're partners, we work on all of our companies yep. together. Our financial life, which extends from our career. Our emotional life. Our relationship is the base of everything. That's, that's number one. If our relationship is solid, healthy, and working well, we can handle anything that life throws at us. Together, we're strong. I'm sorry. We're strong people separately, but together, we are unstoppable. So that's the first premise. 
is that our relationship is the most important thing to us. 100%. Second Beautiful. premise is extraordinary relationships require extraordinary people. Too many people complain about the fact that they can't find the ideal partner, yet they've given very little thought to the challenges of making themselves an ideal partner, right? So you, yes. you can't make anything good without good ingredients. If you want an extraordinary love relationship, it's super important to work on yourselves as individuals so they have something to bring to the party. And the last premise in our in, – in the sure. last – mine, mine are a little different, but they're very – Pretty close. Yeah, they're the same. I have yeah. – Last premise is we believe that love requires action. Yeah. There's a reason why some people can sustain an active love affair over a period of decades. We're in our fourth decade now together as lovers. Awesome. Well, for others, the fire goes out very quickly, and this has everything to do with learning how to love each other. Missy and I learned a long time ago that true love is much more than just experience an emotion, experiencing an emotion for a while. You've got to cultivate the ability to yeah. love as an action, to demonstrate, to show. Mm -hmm. Love always entails, it entails showing how much, you just don't keep it all inside. That doesn't work, right? So Absolutely. those are our premises. So here's what's interesting, because John's life book is very, you guys can see there's there's essays, right? And lots of, Yes. My life book is completely different. I have bullet points. Few words, more pictures. But it, yes. so at the bottom, and we've seen you guys, there are thousands and thousands of different kinds of life books. So it's, it's definitely yes. a visual experience. Um, yeah. And my my. My premises are very similar because in your love, parenting, finances, there's a few categories that if you're in a partnership, if you have a partner, yep. you, you better be on the same page or you're going to be screwed. You got to be on the same page. <laughs> Even if you include both. Absolutely. Really do. And this this is a serious guide to help you. John and I know, know what our parenting beliefs are, what our love beliefs are, and it helps you yes, stay a couple. for sure. Yeah. Now I'm going to share Vision. This is the vision for our love relationship, and I'm, yes. I'm just going over the, the, the big bullet points. Yes. Did you have something? To say? And, vision, and vision is what you aspire what to. What we want. What you yes, want. Exactly. Yes. So okay. Our beliefs, our, our premises, our beliefs. Now Premise is the we... belief. Vision is what, the vision, you, uh, what you want. Our vision, I, I'm going to read to you now the description of our ideal relationship. What what attributes does, does this ideal relationship that we're trying to create have? What does it look like? And the first thing that it has is Missy and I have a very deep regard for one another. Love it. We yep. adore each other. We've got admiration, deep respect. We're very, very proud to be in this relationship together. And the importance of admiration and respect in a love relationship can't be overstressed because there will be storms. That's unavoidable. And if you respect, admire your partner, you're going to be much more likely to stay in the ring and get through those hard situations. Absolutely. And, you know, as opposed to just giving up. Second, 100%. our relationship has a quality of dignity in the way we communicate. Uh, communication is the lifeblood of any relationship. And we learned early on in our relationship how our communication styles differed and therefore how to talk to each other. They, they were very Absolutely. They were yeah. very different, and, and that was it. We, we had to go through a year of sort of study and learning to get to the point where we could communicate, but that's a key thing is yeah. to be able to communicate. 100%. Next is that we have a oneness about our relationship. We're very, very deeply mm -hmm. tied together. Missy's feelings are my feelings. If Missy's sad, I could not possibly be joyful. I'm, I'm automatically sad. If she's sad, if she's happy, I'm automatically happy because what makes me the happiest is to make her happy. So there are virtual there are there there are not a, not a whole lot of distinction between our emotional life. We're very in sync. We have a very oneness. Our relationship is a very dependent relationship. Whereas mm -hmm. uh, I, we've seen other wonderful relationships, they're very independent. Where yes, they, they both work and they come. They have a beautiful relationship. Yep. But our, ours is. We feel like we're two halves of, of one whole. Of one whole. That's of one. Absolutely. One whole, but yeah, that's kind of the deal. Yeah. Here's a good one. Here's a good one, Mike. Missy and I put each other first, and we always have. One of the most yeah. profound things that a man can know about his relationship with his wife is that he comes first before anything else, including the children. One of the most profound things a woman can know about her relationship with her husband is that he comes, she, she comes first before anything else, including his career. For us, this has been a, a big part of the recipe for a magnificent love affair. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that Missy loves the kids less than she loves me. Love is an unlimited resources. It means she puts me first because if she does, if, if our shit is solid, 
it's going to it's, it's going to radiate That's to the right. kids. And same thing with me. Doesn't mean I don't care deeply about my career. It means her needs must be attended to first. That's the way for us to have the most solid, stable life. It's like a hundred percent. Yes. hundred percent. And then it goes on and on and on. This is a big, yeah, big, a big chapter. So, okay. So that's our, now what's the purpose? So it's, we did our, yes. our premise. Vision was just yes. the purpose. So why? Yeah. Why? If why? We that and we, why? Why? Why do we want that? Right. We want that because there we found that there is no greater joy on the planet than being able to connect at this level with someone that you love and admire and respect. It makes every single second of every single day in every form of human endeavor a better situation. Double. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's awesome. It is. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then we have a lot of strategies for how we're going to make this happen. So we yeah. I mean, like you said earlier, Michael, that's one of the most changeable things in a life book because there's best practices always coming out and you want to yes. keep it fresh. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you want me to share a few strategies with you for yeah. You were, that that would be great. Absolutely. The first is showing appreciation. We Beautiful. make sure that we, not a day goes by that mm -hmm. I don't tell Missy how beautiful she is 20 times. And, mm -hmm. and I thank you for all the hard work you do. <laughs> we, we're just so appreciative to each other. And we make, we make sure that, you know, sometimes in, in a relationship, you're going to have to criticize. Sometimes you're going to have to share disappointments or whatever. We make sure that we're always paying attention to the ratio between yep. criticisms and compliments. And if, there, so, so for instance, if your ratio of criticisms to compliments is mm -hmm. 10 criticisms to one compliment, your your point of view is not going to be accepted very, right? right? However, if you very. that, yeah. and then for every criticism you give 10 compliments, you're usually, your, mm -hmm. your feelings are usually mm -hmm. accepted pretty, mm -hmm. pretty yes. readily. So we really take the time. Missy leaves me a beautiful love note with my coffee every afternoon when I get up. We We've we've got so many after little strategies. You don't and, sleep till the afternoon. No, no. But after yeah, your nap. After my nap, <laughs> we we have. So I can appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> little a good nap. <laughs> to, to just keep so much love and appreciation and gratefulness flowing through this relationship, that it just it, it, it wipes out a lot because of. Because that's that's the beginning. I mean, when we got together, there was so much of that. So we we nurture that and we keep that alive. That you know that feeling of excitement and. Yeah, yes. appreciation. Next is romance and passion. Missy and I have really, really, really focused a lot of attention on our romantic life, our sex life, our, our erotic life. We, well, here's, here's a, I, I say our number one strategy in this regard. We've had an overnight date. We've got four kids and three grandkids. We have had an overnight date once a week, every week, for the last 30 years, no matter where in the world we are, no matter what the situation is, where we have grown up time. And and that has been absolutely amazing. Like it's a date, it's a serious day. So we, we put a tremendous amount of energy into keeping our relationship hot mm -hmm. because yes. that goes out very quickly for, for a lot of couples, right? For, for most. Health and fitness, for most. Health and fitness is a, is a nice thing to have underneath you when it comes to that. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Are we good? No, I'm going to do a couple more. Um, I talked That's about complaints versus criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, I don't think we need to go through all of our all of our little uh, love strategies here. I'll it's tell too you, personal. I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I, and I think Missy's done this too, but I I, I've definitely done it. Yeah, you have beautiful, too. Beautiful, yeah. One of the most beautiful pages in my love relationship um, in, in my life book is one year I sat down and wrote as many things as I could think of, the things that I love about Missy. Mm -hmm. Just the thing I, the, the, the reason. Yep. Go deep there. The yeah. reasons that I'm so in love with her, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact, I gave her a book for her 37th birthday called 37 Things I Love About You. It was fully illustrated. Yeah. And That's getting in touch with those things not only made her super happy, but it had a profound effect on right. me. All of a sudden Absolutely. you understand how lucky you are and, and, and Gratitude, how, how much gratefulness. Get, yeah. You should be yeah. every day. It's good for both. Life book is the best tool a couple could ever have. That's true. First of all, you can do things like dial in your love relationship at an incredibly deep level. But Mike, the biggest reason that life book is, is something that every couple should do is because 90% of the problems that a couple is going to have in their relationship 
will come from not being on the same page in one or more of these areas. She's a spender and he's a saver. He's too disciplined with the kids. She's too lax with the kids. Whatever the, whatever the thing is, we've got to get on the same page if we want to have a, a love relationship that's smooth and that's fulfilling and that makes both of us happy. And Lifebook opens up all those conversations so that you can get on the same page in every important area of your life. Because communication is the key to the whole yeah. relationship situation. Communication is absolutely 100% the key. And, and what usually there's a conversation that we have with our patients in our office. You know, it's an interesting um, dynamic because boy meets girl, boy and girl become couple and they grow as a couple. And then unfortunately, for most people, they stop growing as individuals with with um, Lifebook. Now, and I'm going to be completely transparent about this because I went through Lifebook. My wife went through Lifebook. My business partners in Beyond Your Wildest Genes, Noah DeCoya, went through Lifebook. Wow. His wife went through Lifebook. My other partner up in Canada, Wanda Lee McPhee, went through. Andrew Kleinkenick went through. So we all went through it. And it has greatly impacted not only what we do, but but how we do it. And John, it was, you know, I'm, I'm not blowing smoke here, um, but I, I have written goals for myself since I was 18 years old. But it wasn't until I sat down in Lifebook that I was able to verbalize and put it to paper what the premise was, what the vision was, what the purpose was, and what the strategy was. They'd always been, here's here's where I am, and this is where I want to go, and, and that's it. But there was no, that was the capstone. There was nothing underneath. This was the first time that I did that, and then I did it for all 12 categories in my life, and that's when things really became transformational for me. Can you tell I, I had, what we call that, Michael? We call that the power of 12, and here's why. Because what okay. we learned is most goal setting happens in somewhat of a vacuum. And here's the problem with that. So I'm going to set a goal to earn $150,000 this year. I'm going to set a goal to, to make my love relationship with my wife better. I'm, I'm going to set these goals because I know generally kind of how I'd like to improve my life. But many, many times you can have conflicts between two goals. So if I'm going to make $150,000 this year, I'm going to have to work 60-hour weeks. That's going to take away from my goal over here on my love relationship side. What Lifebook does, once you get clear on every area of your life and you start setting goals against your life vision, there is a consistency where all of your goals are now aligned and, and pulling you in the same direction. And that creates this, this energy vortex that, that, that regular goal setting can't hold a candle to. It's integration. Yeah. It's deep. Integration. Yeah. Sure. yeah. It, it, it's really, in, and especially now for me, recovering from, from um, COVID-19 and uh, double pneumonia, it's been a really unique time in the world where mm -hmm. I, I just want to give you a couple examples of um, – the, the silver lining of, of things. So uh, as you know, most chiropractors and entrepreneurs, we spend an enormous amount of time out of the house. Mm -hmm. In recovering, what has happened is I have been home for family dinners more in the last two and a half months than I had in 20 wow. years. Wow. And, and, my daughter, Emma, is 17 and Jack is 16. They're both in high school and, and they're living their lives and, and doing well. But the interesting thing, and, and, and this is something that I, I share with our audience, is that um, we as human beings, um, our, our children spend 93% of their time with us on this earth from the time they're born until their time they're 18. And then they only spend 7% of their time with us for the rest of their lives, yes. which is which is amazing. So it come, to me, this is a gift. This is the silver lining in this. This is this is the uh, family um, relationship. This is a deeper relationship with my wife. This is a deeper relationship with my children, which is which is what we're here yes. for. It is. Yeah. It really is. You got it. Um, uh, guys, I, 
we're, we're coming up on an hour. Um, I really appreciate your time, taking your time out to, to spend with us. Um, is there anything else that you want to impart with, with our audience? I'll today? tell you, if you are interested in exploring Lifebook, um, it'll, yep. it'll take your life to, to the next level for sure. And we have a way that you can do it now for free. First of all, Michael, I'll tell okay. you that we, uh, two years ago, we completely redid the program. So Lifebook version two is extraordinary. Yep. It's 10 years later than the program you went through. And it, it's, yep. it's a whole different level now. We are offer, our current offer is that um, Lifebook is free with accountability. And here's what that means. Our mission is a million people with a Lifebook. We think that will change the world. And so we, we don't want to let money be an obstacle for people that really want to do this program. So here's what you do. Okay. There's a six week mm -hmm. online course that you go through with a, with a community. We'll have 10,000 people in the next cohort. And that's amazing because everybody shares best practices. Like, like it, it's a real, Manage yep. to, to be going through in a group where everyone's doing this and sharing with and each other. And it's really diverse. I mean, yeah. we have all, all over the world. It's, half half it's the people will be from America and half the people will be from the rest of the world. Yeah. So so you put a $500 security deposit down, mm -hmm. right? It's $500. Mm -hmm. And then go through the course yep. for the, the six weeks. And at the end of the six weeks, yep. if you finish the program, you can request your money back, get full refund, no questions asked. If you don't do what you say you're going to do and, and don't finish the program, well, you didn't help the yep. world, you didn't help your, you didn't help us, so you forfeit your deposit. Right. And by the way, Michael, right. that offer has increased our completion rates to about five times industry average, which is the real magic of that. That's the reason we did it, actually. Now, most people at the end, wow. at the end of Lifebook choose to not get their money back and continue their journey with us, which is what we're trying to do. But we're super happy sure. for the people that can't afford to do this program to allow them to do it for free that way so there's no risk on your part. And we'd love to have as many of Mike's tribe mm -hmm. as possible in this next cohort in June. That is um, a extremely generous offer, John and Missy. Uh, it, that's amazing. Um, where where can people, where does Lifebook live these days? Um, go to, uh, yeah. what's this URL? I think it, I, all you got to do is Google search Lifebook online. It's okay. Life online, online, get to the sales page and sign up for the $500 offer. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, Mike, what I need to do is I need to get you the link so that you can put it with these show notes so that people know exactly where to go. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll include that in, in the show but notes and that will be a problem. June, we're having our big summer launch, so we'll be sending people okay. up the entire month of June. <clears> and then we're going to start that program about July 1st. So it'll go, it'll go through okay. July into mid-August. And you guys, I mean, I'm telling you. You know, and the great thing about this, we, we do Lifebook uh, classes, I guess, every month. But twice a year, yep. John and I do the live calls every week with you. Yep. So this June. We're going to be one, joining this group. We'll be on this one. We'll be going through everything and being your personal coach. And we do a Q&A. And, &A, and so we love much it. Fun. We it's, learn it's, so much. It's so much fun. Yeah. And we're going to do it twice a year. And, and this, this one that we're talking to you about, we're going to be doing that. Yeah, it be great. Uh, I, I love it, hey, guys. That's, that is amazing. <laughs> Uh, I, I've got to say, uh, I, it, it's a testament to you guys. It's 13 years later. I still use my life book. I still go back and use it. Um, it is done twice a year. I am fully transparent in it. It's done on, I have the, uh, the editable versions and, um, it, it, it's it's a living, yeah. like you said, John, it's a living, it's a living, breathing um, entity. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I am grateful. I'm grateful that you decided <laughs> not to yeah, keep it to yourself. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we are too. We've met so many um, Absolutely. Missy, any parting words? Uh, no, I think I think we covered everything. I'm just really grateful that you had us on here, Mike. Yeah, thanks and, so much, Mike. It was great to reconnect with yeah, you. It's been a while. Really. I'm so glad that you made it through that hard yeah, situation. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, how grateful are you that you've taken such good care of yourself all your life? Because mm -hmm. that's what's happening. That's you right. know, the people that haven't are having a real yeah. hard time right now. Well, the, the interesting, uh, just a, just a, a quick segue. Um, when I took Lifebook, I had lost 30 pounds at the time uh, in 2007. I was 207 oh pounds, goodness. and I had lost 30. Wow. So when 
when I got out of the hospital, I was actually down to 172 wow. pounds, which I, which I had not weighed since I was in fifth grade. <laughs> you know, we, <laughs> How tall are you? Are you a tall guy? Six, six oh. foot. Six foot, yeah. But still, it was it was way too much weight, and it really helped me to focus my attention on my on my That's health. That's amazing. Um, and do, do you want and to wait from there? Now you're gonna put once you once you're back in action. Are you feeling like you're gonna put some muscle on and stuff? I, I'm gonna keep it. I, I found that I function best. Um, I was down to about 186 prior to not eating for a month. Um, so I, I, about 180 is okay. good. I'm, I'm that's, about that's 100. Your best. I, yeah, I really do. I notice more energy, greater clarity, and, and I'm, I really am a conscious eater at this point in my life um, because there's a lot more important things than, than eating ring dings and ho-hos. <laughs> <laughs> so, none yes. none comes to mind right now, but I, but I do believe you. <laughs> Michael, it's been great to spend this well, time with you, yeah. brother. I, I really appreciate you guys taking the time. Hey, folks, if you like what you heard, please go to iTunes, leave a review. It helps people um, find us and help other people. So, again, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out. Be well. You take too. care. Ciao, everybody. Take thank care. you. Hey, guys, and I'm back. Our June supplement of the month is BYWG's Turmeric Boost. Turmeric has been in the news for its surprising effectiveness to manage inflammatory issues in arthritic pain. However, not all turmeric supplementation is the same. Turmeric Boost contains BCM95, which is a patented form of whole turmeric that helps to address the absorption issues by providing a trademarked formula with 700 to 900% better absorption in human clinical trials. In addition, it doesn't require black pepper to be absorbed, but can be sensitive to some patients. We added medium chain triglycerides, MCT oil, to BYWG Nutrition's Turmeric Boost to encourage better absorption. Once again, no fillers, no wheat, no gluten, no dairy, just value, quality, and effectiveness. For the entire month of June, if you use the code DEFLAME10, that's lowercase D-E-F-L-A-M-E-10, you will receive 10% off this incredible anti-inflammatory aid. You can pick it up at our website at www.beyondwildestgenes.com or if you're local at our brick and mortar store. The June 2020 book of the month is Sacred Cow, Why Well-Raised Meat is Good for You and Good for the Planet by Diana Rogers and Rob Wolf. This is the first book of the month that hasn't officially been released yet, but Rob has been a great supporter of BYWG and we are such huge fans of all his work, we decided to support his pre-release purchase. The book is officially released July 14th. The pre-order purchase code will be in the show notes and in the weekly emails. Our product of the month for June is Lifebook, an incredible life-altering program that all three of us have matriculated through. Lifebook is about you, created by you. It's a one-of-a-kind lifestyle design system that guides you towards your personal vision of success in 12 dimensions of life. These 12 areas are health, fitness, intellectual, character, emotional, spiritual, love relationship, parenting, social, career, financial, quality of life, and life vision. So comprehensive, so empowering. Check it out via the links and the materials we send out during this entire month. And as always, be awesome and never unawesome.